Welcome to the Hallwood Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, Seven Reasons Why Talking About Exes on the First Date is a Bad Idea. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge, and some people's bad choices. I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. Imagine this. You're sitting across from a woman you're interested in. You haven't even had your first kiss yet but she's already talking about her ex-boyfriends. Why does this happen? And more importantly, why should you be cautious when it does? Here's the truth. Number one, the primal turnoff. First off, hearing about her past sexual escapades is a primal turnoff. You're getting to know her trying to gauge if she's someone you want to invest time in. And suddenly, she's forcing you to think about her being intimate with another man. It's a mental image you don't need. Frankly, it's not conducive to building attraction. On a fundamental level, men are wired to compete, but not when it comes to a woman's past your brain instinctively recoils because it's a reminder that she's been with other men. This isn't about insecurity. It's about biology. So if she's babbling about her exes before you've even had a chance to kiss her, that is a massive red communist flag. Number two, the illusion of sexual demand. Why do women do this? Why do they think it's a good idea to paint themselves as sexually in demand? It's simple. They've been fed a load of crap advice from sources like New Woman and Cosmopolitan Magazine. They believe that they'll appear more desirable by talking about their past lovers. They think you'll view them as the prize, highly sought after by other men. What they don't realize is that their sexual desirability is already a given. Men don't need to be reminded that other men want to have S-word fun with a woman. It's obvious. By bringing it up, she's essentially shooting herself in the foot instead of building attraction. She's eroding it, making you question if she's even worth your time. Three, social proof and its pitfalls. Part of this behavior stems from the concept of social proof. Women think that if other men desire them, you will too. But here's the kicker. What women don't understand is that while social proof might work, for them, it often backfires with men. For men, knowing that a woman is desired by others might initially spark interest, but having it shoved in our faces through stories about your exes quickly becomes a turnoff. It is a reminder that you're just one in a line of many, which does nothing to build a unique and valued connection. What do they say? She was never yours. It was just your turn. Four, manipulation through weakness. Here's another layer to this. Manipulation. Some women knowingly or unknowingly exploit male sexual weakness. They dangle, they dangle their sexual history like bait, hoping you'll get hooked. They believe that by appearing sexually experienced, 
you'll be more inclined to fall for them. But let's be honest here, guys. This is a trap. If you let yourself be drawn in by this tactic, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. A woman who leads with her sexuality is not thinking long term. She's playing a short game, one where she's the only winner. Check out my video, Five Female Manipulations Men Should Watch Out For. I'll place the link in the description or click on the link above if you're watching this on YouTube. Number five, long-term failure potential. Women who act this way are unlikely to be successful as long-term partners. They're more focused on immediate gratification and validation than building a solid foundation for a relationship. If she's leading with stories about her exes and past sexual exploits, she's showing you that she lacks the maturity and foresight needed for a lasting relationship. A woman who's truly interested in long-term commitment will focus on building a connection with you, not regaling you with her tales of past lovers. Six recognizing and walking away. So how can you recognize when a woman is leading with her sexuality? Pay attention to her behavior. Is she constantly bringing up past relationships? Does she talk about her sexual experiences in detail? Does she seem more interested in impressing you with her sexual past than getting to know you? If the answer is yes, it's time to walk away. Don't let yourself be manipulated by these tactics. Respect yourself enough to hold out for a woman who values genuine connection over cheap tricks. Number seven, positive actions to take. Let's talk about what you should do. First, recognize the signs and don't ignore them. If she's talking about her exes on the first date, that's a big red flag. Be confident enough to walk away. Second, focus on finding a woman who values long-term commitment. Look for someone who's interested in building a future with you, not just reliving her past. Third, don't be afraid to set boundaries. Let her know that you're not interested in hearing about her exes. If she respects you, she'll understand. If she doesn't, well, you dodged a bullet. My brothers, in conclusion, be cautious and discerning when it comes to women who lead with their sexuality. Understand the underlying motives and don't let yourself be manipulated. Recognize the signs, walk away when necessary, and focus on finding a woman who truly values long-term commitment. By doing so, you'll set yourself up for success in the realm of relationships. Steer clear of the pitfalls laid out by bad advice and shallow tactics. If you found value in this video, Please show it by doing three things. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and subscribe to our Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity.
If you can't wait for my next new video, click on one of these right now and watch another immediately. Until next time.